In the new movie, Bel Canto, Oscar winner Julianne Moore plays a world-renowned opera singer who's taken hostage by a group of insurgents in South America. And to angle for their demands, the rebels attempt to force Moore's character to use the power of her voice and sing. I won't sing. Not for you. What's the sound of the mandamus? He says to do what you're told. Oh, or what? You'll shoot me? You've kept one woman, one American, una americana. If you shoot me, what do you think will happen to you and your people? I don't think I need to do what you say. Julianne Moore, hello. Hi, good morning. So you play an opera singer in a movie that's an adaptation of a book, and a lot of people may be familiar with this book. Mm -hmm. An opera singer. I don't think I think that's one of the roles I haven't seen you no, play. No, I before. haven't done that, and I don't know anything about opera. So it was a great opportunity to really immerse myself in the subject and, and learn something, and to to work with the, the incredible Renee Fleming, who supplies the, the voice. Wow. I mean, when I look at you, I think Julianne Moore. You won Oscar, Gold. Golden Globes, Emmys, you have the pick of all kinds of scripts. <laughs> what was it about this one when you looked at it and said, yeah, I like this one? You know what I like the most about mm. it? The love story. I mean, you know, the thing, here's this woman who is so, um, so accomplished, this, you know, this diva, this opera star who travels all over the world, and right. she's sort of, she's imperious, she's a real star, but she has no she has no life you know she has no community mm -hmm. and in this really extraordinary situation she ends up finding people to care about and, mm -hmm. a, and someone to love you know she falls in love with with Ken Watanabe who plays this uh, mm -hmm. Japanese industrialist who comes to the concert you know what I noticed when the clips are rolling yeah um, on our screens, you're not looking at them. No, no, no. <laughs> when I yeah, walked yeah. up and yeah. I said, I saw you on set last night, you were great. You were like, oh my God, I never watched that. I know, watch what it. What is it yeah. about not wanting to watch yourself? I think you don't want to be self conscious. You know, yeah. I think you want to be able to exist on screen or even on a TV show without scrutinizing yourself all the mm -hmm. time. Um, it's that same, I think we've all had that experience of listening to our voice being played back. Yeah. Saying, is that what I really sound like? Right. So there's something. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I want a, a degree of unconsciousness about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still like yeah. you're, you're, feel, you're still learning? Like, I Always. feel like you've done all these incredible things. Yeah. Like, what is there possibly left for you to learn? Everything. I mean, there's always something to learn about human behavior. Yeah. I mean, what was interesting, what I learned about opera, yeah. because I knew so little, is that really the only way to experience it is to experience it live. Oh. Because you don't, you, you don't, the first time I saw Renee sing, we yeah. were in a concert hall at a, at a rehearsal, and each one of these um, different singers got up to, right. to, to rehearse, and they all, their resonance was so different, the, where their voice sat was so different, the, how they manufactured sound was so different, mm -hmm. and I thought, I don't, I didn't know that. Like, yeah. I've only seen it on television. I've seen it in the movies. But live, mm -hmm. they're human musical instruments. So, so there's always something. There's always something to learn. The other part of your life, you've got two adorable children. Yes, one's in college. Yes. One's still in high school. Mm -hmm. are, have any of them or either of them been bitten by the acting bug? Nope. Are no you, matter how hard still, I try. Oh, are you happy? I know, I know. Well, you know, it's funny because I always say to my daughter, I'm like, why yeah. don't you try out for the play? Yeah. She goes, uh -huh. it's not cool, Mom. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, like, no. I'm like, well, then I... Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's not cool. When you were her age, was this something you were interested in acting or was yes, it? Yes, because I was definitely not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the thespian club. You were that girl. I was that girl, yeah. Was yeah. that the profession? Because I read somewhere that you were thinking about, oh, maybe I'll be a doctor, maybe I'll do other things. I was a good student. You know, I mean, that was, yeah. one, once again, I was not cool. <laughs> um, so I, you know, I was going to be, I, I, you know, I wanted to be a doctor, maybe a lawyer or something that was, you know, to go to graduate school. Yeah. And then I just started doing this, this is my thing, my after school thing, because I couldn't play sports. <laughs> And you fell in love with it. <laughs> and I, yeah, yeah, We're yeah. so happy you did. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming to see yeah, us. The movie Bel Canto is in select theaters this Friday. It's going to be available digitally and on demand.